For years and years, people have told me that I should write my story, and I've always resisted because I, I don't feel I've done that much, you know? I mean, you don't have to be a superstar to be justified in writing your biography, but I don't know, I was always reticent. A lot of bad things happened to me, particularly when I was young and rather consistently over the years, and almost all of them uh, were initiated by myself against my own best interest and the people that I loved. So I've been a, a scoundrel, and I wasn't, you know, by and large, in many instances, not exclusively, um, but I have enough self-knowledge and awareness to, you know, admit when I've made mistakes, which, of which I've made plenty. And, uh, but to put them into a book and to let the whole world know about, well, your successes and, but your shortcomings as well, because there's no sense doing a biography unless it's completely honest. Um, that I wrote a book called, I have to look it up here, Bad Words, Jeffrey Giuliano and Twilight, 1953 to 1971. Uh, this book is a, a portion of my life. There's meant to be several other, uh, probably three other installments, but these are all like three volumes, rather. What's it say here? Jeffrey Joseph Giuliano, ni Jeffrey Giuliano, ni Jagannath Das, is a man of many faces and adventures. A plumber's son from western New York in his mid-sixties, I wish. This transient soul has experimented with a wide swath of poverty, riches, fame, and anonymity. Hedonism and piety. At the same time, 50% monk and 50% monkey... Giuliano is best known as the author of a shelf full of books on the Beatles and other rock icons, a well-known film actor, world traveler, vegetarian activist, and very public devotee of Krishna. Here is his rags to riches, then back to rags. Story is told by himself in an honest, enlightening, often shocking, sometimes humorous look back on the first 19 years of his often unlikely life and times. The first installment of his autobiography focuses on the years 1953 to 1971 and his trek from small town kid to all American 1960s hippie to enthusiastic young seeker of Krishna in the early years of the Hare Krishna movement. While this is uniquely Jeffrey's story, it is also a similar tale to many who lived through the same era. If the child is the father of the man, then this collection of cutting memories explains a great deal about the bold, creative character Giuliano later became, it says here. There are many words here, many of them bad. Introduction, Dr. Timothy Leary. So I picked up the gauntlet of the challenge of writing a book about myself, but have thus far done the first 19 years, formative years, foundational years, difficult years, um, from zero to 19. And I made an audio book out of it. I have a manuscript. It will be edited and the first volume will come out in 2024. But what I really have to come to terms with is how I'm going to finish up because the next, it's like 20 years at a time. So there might be four volumes before it's over. So the next volume will be uh, 71, 81, 91. So it'll, I wrote my first book in 84. So it'll start to cover those very successful years as an author running around the world the way I did. It was very handy because there wasn't much expectation that I would do too much until those books came out. But um, I, did, I did write this, and it's, it was painful, and it was liberating to write about yourself, you know, because I just turned the weapon on myself, <laughs> you know. I had this kind of poison pen that I used to chronicle my heroes, 
generationally. Uh, then I said, well, you know, it's only fair that I write the same shit about myself, which I did in this book. And uh, we're going to put that out in 2024 with any luck. Uh, but it's out now on Volume 1 on Audible, Amazon, and everywhere because I have a great, the greatest distribution deal for audiobooks that any publisher could have. I was been blessed with my ability to basically take whatever I want, whatever idea I have, go into this studio, put it down, and then get it out all around the world immediately, just in a few days. It's everywhere. So uh, this chronicles my very difficult growing up with an eccentric mother, very well read, very well spoken, very literate, some of that passed down, hopefully. And my wonderfully funny father, who was a plumber, who they used to call Joe Jelly from Albion, New York. And I, you know, I did this also. The, the, the reasons people always get for doing an autobiography is like this, so their children can, can know what happened. But you know what? I think when you die, nobody gives a shit what happened. <laughs> and maybe even while you're here. But I, you know, I had a romantic idea. And I think a lot of people do about when you die. When you die, you're fucking gone, baby. And uh, nobody really cares. The kids will say, oh, yeah, I love dad or I whatever they think or say about him. But I, let me research the life of dad. I don't think that that's going to happen. So I've gotten, I've uh, gotten rid of that misapprehension about how things go when you die. You know, life is for the living, as my mother used to say. But of course, my understanding is, is that people don't die. They just change into another body, another car body that gives them the... Um, jurisdiction to experience reality and collect, create, and disperse karma and ultimately come to know themselves on a much deeper level. But that, again, is for another conversation, which I promise you we will have. But in, but, uh, in connection with bad words, uh, why did I name it bad words? Because my mother used to say to me when I was leaving the house, hey, don't say any bad words. I fucking ended up saying all kinds of them over uh, seven decades now. Just, just seven decades. I just turned 70. Um, so don't get too excited. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, don't say any bad words. And in those days, it was like BM for shit and piss and a PP for piss. And, you know, I was very young. And then later, of course, it, you know, I developed a vocabulary. But uh, it was like, hey, what do you, don't, you, don't you kids say bad words. Um, and yeah, as, a, as a, a rock biographer and as an actor, I've said so many uh, now that, uh, thank God my mother isn't here to hear it. Um, but yeah, I, I think the book, will re- the, the series will really come alive. I don't know who the hell cares. But you know, when you're a writer, you write like a garbage truck. It picks up garbage because that's what it does, you know? And beavers make a dam in the river. That's because that's what they do. And writers write, and singers sing, and actors act, and plumbers plumb, and that's just, you know, and a partridge in a pear tree. It's just what people do, you know? And it's how people and life expresses itself on the fabric of life. Oh, yeah. So... I'm looking forward to taking a sabbatical and maybe I always think I'll go to Koh Phangan. It's a beach in Thailand and live on the beach there in Ha Yon, which is a remote beach you can only get to by boat and stay in uh, the Big Blue or one of those places down there. And I'm, you know, I'm pre- at this point, I can write pretty quickly. In fact, I, I often utilize um, dictation and just talk it out. Oh, really? Yeah, you're a talker? Oh, I would never have known. And uh, then I just turn that into, later, turn that into writing. I don't sit there and write every word like I used to in my first book, but ultimately it ends up with that. And AI can assist with all that kind of stuff too. So, bad words. There's been many.